Previously with Amelia and Noah. All right, we did it, guys. We got it. We gotta go into Target, get a whole bunch of stuff. A few moments later. Everything's a little messy. We got some groceries. But I'm gonna put that together back there. Not really, but so. I'm currently running the AC just to get a little bit cooler in here. Got the max here for running. Let's see what. First. Part First night of van party. life. So, we, um, with our rental car, we have to take it back to Denver tomorrow. So, that's a three and a half hour drive back to Denver. So, we're kind of debating whether to stay here in Glenwood Springs um, and then drive in the morning or go ahead and drive to Denver now, stay somewhere in Denver, and then um, put the rental car there in Denver and then drive home. Um, so we may, we'll let you guys know what happens, but I'm so tired. We chose to stay here in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, um, just because it's just late and we've been up since like five o'clock this morning. So we are currently eating cereal, Lucky Charms. Um, and we're going to wrap our day up tonight and then our travel home will start tomorrow. My heart is so happy right now. We're gonna hit the road, get on home, get our little puppers from the kennel. So, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Last night was a little rough. Um, it unexpectedly got pretty cold during the night. I'm so tired. So now we're gonna get up. We're gonna go get some Starbucks, get some breakfast, and start hitting the road because we have a pretty long way home from here. So let's do it. What's the time? We got some Starbucks. We're heading to the Denver airport right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit the road. It's about, we have, um, I think two hours now instead of three. So we got that going on. We need your tiny car. Wish us luck, guys. six hours. Six hours. No, five and a half. Five and a half hours. So we're gonna stop and get some food, sit down for a little while, give our eyeballs a break, and then we're gonna hit the road running and try to make it as far as we can tonight. What's your favorite thing at IHOP? I wanna know. Comment. Uh. Just finished at IHOP. We feel like new humans. Now all we need is to figure out how to work our shower and things would really be nice. Legit, I have had, okay. I have had nothing but straight carbs for the past several days, just with flying and traveling. It's just like grabbing just cheap, easy stuff and getting a steak, even though it wasn't probably the healthiest of steaks, just getting a steak in my belly I feel like a new human being. Man. I just got chocolate chip pancakes, but they did the same thing. <laughs> I can't let you go, baby. I just want to tell you that. So mama's over here dropping the van. Take pass by Parker. Take care. Cause that man is
is trouble, it best beware. And load it down, I know I might be lost. Now that you've got your starting night, just dance. This is really the content we're all after. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. That's the view that I like. Right, so we just got to a rest stop off of Can uh, somewhere in Kansas. I honestly don't know what town it is. Um, and I'm, we saw all these hills and the sun is setting. Even though we're on a very quick pace to get home, it's just it's worth just pulling over, getting some footage, getting some, some uh, drone footage. So that's what we're going to do here. ourselves where we go on road trips and we listen to Crime Junkie. It is not good for us. But to our defense, it served us really well today because we are just driving along and this trucker dude that had a really creepy sticker on the side of his truck. Is it basically just like a pornographic image? Because while I was driving and no one was resting and so maybe you didn't see him, I don't know. But it stuck to the side of our, like right beside our van for a good three minutes. And then finally when he went around us, I was relieved because he obviously like wasn't there anymore. And then half an hour later we get off to go to the bathroom at an exit and he's behind us. And he pulls the exact same direction that we're going and into the exact same gas station. And at that moment I was like, Lord, like you, I thought, I don't want to be near this guy. I just have like, you know, you just gotta trust your gut. Like you gotta trust Holy Spirit and trust your discernment is like I just have a bad feeling. So as soon as he got into the gas station, which was not really made for truckers, so it was hard for him to like get into it. So if I were a trucker and I was looking for like ease, I would have chosen the one across the street that had a lot more room, but instead he chose the one that we went to. Anyway, as soon as he like got into the gas station, we just went ahead and left the gas pump and turned around and went back onto the highway to get to a different exit. So I was like, no, I don't want to be near this dude. I don't even want, I don't even want to get out of the car. Just because you never know and it's going to be wise. My mom's favorite Bible verse is the wise man sees the danger and turns away. So, um, no, don't live in fear because more than that one verse, the Lord is always like, do not be afraid for I am with you. Do not be afraid, do not be afraid, do not be afraid. So putting that definitely at the forefront of our minds, but also using caution and being wise. Like in that situation, we needed to be wise and now we haven't seen him since and we don't have to be anxious about it. Sorry, long with it. We've been in the car a long time. To wrap that up is anybody, just be mindful of your surroundings. Constantly like, not necessarily paranoidly checking, but just be, yeah, just be aware. It's not even okay for somebody to be creeping on anybody. So, yeah, just be aware of your surroundings. We just passed a massive buck on the side of the road. We are about, I think we're about to get out of Kansas. I hope. We've been in Kansas We've been, <laughs> all friggin' day. Yeah, we're literally from about like two o'clock and we're still in Kansas. And we've stopped twice. So, can Kansas, you are big. You're very big. Very beautiful though. A lot of people are like, oh, it's just flat and you can just see for miles, but I think that is yeah. so beautiful. You look out this window. Man, be good. Look at all those cows. Do coconuts mug, right? Our 
home make some noises, guys. Some serious noises. But we're gonna get back to our crime junkie uh, and just keep which truck. we just started on the national parks, <laughs> which is about to be our new backyard. Oh, okay. Hopefully, it's what. We're just gonna keep trucking. We'll we'll update you guys once we park and get into bed tonight. Go um, over a little debrief. Yeah, a little 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 little, little debrief. But before we go. Hey guys, so hey guys, so hey guys. So Look at these mountains, guys. Look at that, guys. Look at that view, guys. I'm gonna do my best to hold this and drive, not look at the camera. Just consider dangerous. Um. Like, like, literally, like, this the heater thing keeps popping off. He says Gloria. No, it's oh, Gloria. I like Gloria. It's kind of like the, the hippo from Madagascar. But I like because she's a big great gal. I like a bit. I like a turkey. <laughs> the owner. Of the <laughs> 